If you're a Roblox fan, this video is for you. You're going to be able to enjoy most, if not all, your Roblox experiences in VR. The great thing is, setting up your headset to experience Roblox is easy. This video is geared towards Quest 2 Airlink users, but as long as the headset is Steam VR compatible, you should be okay. Now, as of posting this video, the VR feature for Roblox is still in beta. With that being said, it works surprisingly well despite it not being a full release. As usual, all the steps are in the description below, including references. And the reason I made this video was because I had trouble getting Roblox to work in VR even after following the directions that both Roblox and tutorials provided. I definitely put in several hours to try to understand the issue. Having experienced this for myself, I wanted to save you from frustration and losing time. As said earlier, the solution is surprisingly pretty easy. Before I get to the solution, it's important to go over the root cause. The reason you might have been experiencing issues getting VR to work in Roblox is because the original Roblox launch app did not ship with VR enabled, where there were no settings to toggle it on. For me, despite having an updated version of the original launcher, version 2.13, it did not have the ability to be able to use it in VR. Knowing this makes the solution obvious and easy. Let's get some housekeeping out of the way first. Now items you will need, and we'll start with the hardware, is obviously a virtual reality headset compatible with Steam VR. And for Quest 2 users, you'll need a link cable um, USB-C or 5 gigahertz router for AirLink and a VR ready PC um, in this instance uh, you will need uh, Windows 10 the software you'll need is uh, your favorite or main browser and the Roblox uh, player launcher but I'll talk about this a little more later and also make sure to properly connect your headset and PC as a quick disclaimer, if you don't feel comfortable with navigating through your computer and changing settings, I highly advise to grab someone who does or get a professional. Now the estimated time to complete is roughly about 10 minutes, and the difficulty is actually quite easy, so there's really not much to worry about here. Now be aware, Roblox will be running on the PC and not on the Quest 2 natively. An important aspect to point out also is that there are two versions of the Roblox app, that's right, two. As I explained earlier, the original version will not launch in VR. This is where you may have been running into issues the same way I did when attempting to start Roblox in VR. The version I had on my PC 2.13 um, that I installed about two years ago, despite being updated, launched games natively from the PC in non-VR mode. The other version, the one you want, launches games from your browser. Knowing this key distinction, we can start the first step. Now if you're starting games from the Roblox launcher on your PC and it doesn't prompt you that it recognizes that a headset is connected, you need to uninstall it. In the search box on the taskbar, type in add or remove programs. Once you see the choices that has a gear and the add or remove programs, click on that. You'll be taken to Settings, Apps and Features, scroll down and look for Roblox. Click on it. The option to modify or uninstall will be made available. Make a note of the version and then click uninstall. Keep in mind as of making this video, I was no longer able to get the older version of Roblox. So you'll end up seeing Roblox player, you know, scrolling down through this menu. The next step. Uh, on your main browser, go to the Roblox account login page and log in to your Roblox account. Step 3, in the same window or a separate tab, go to the Roblox download page and download the Roblox player. If you haven't done so, locate wherever you save the Roblox player launcher.exe, double click on it and install the Roblox player. Now the fourth and last step is make sure that your headset is connecting properly to your PC. Log into your headset and connect to your PC as you normally would. Launch Roblox either directly from your PC or a mirrored view from your headset. No game launcher will appear but instead will go to your browser. If your headset is connected, 
Roblox player will recognize it and will launch in the headset automatically in VR. And that's it. So if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't find it helpful, still give it a thumbs up. Keep the hungry algo monster happy and help this channel grow by liking and sharing. And most importantly, keep us in your back pocket by subscribing whenever you need the help with your VR setup. I'm Phil from A VR Story and thanks for checking out this video. See you again next time. Thank you very much.